Welcome back to Joe's Pool School, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between running English and reverse English. Um, they're called several different things, but if you know what I'm talking about, then sweet. If you don't, basically, I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, well, whatever. You get the point. Um, so this angle right here. Right? So if the cue ball comes off of this ball, it's going to be going in the right direction. It's going to go right. See that? Caught angle to the left, cue ball goes to the right. So if I know that it's going to go right and I put right English on it, that's called running English. It's going to take that and run away with it. Okay? So uh, conversely, left English would be inside English or reverse spin. When that gets to the rail, it's actually going to, it's, the ball is going to spin and want to come this way. So think of it like outside English is just the direction the cue ball is going to naturally go in after making the object ball. Inside or reverse English is going to be the same direction that the cut is going in. So if the cut's going left, inside or, or reverse English is going to go left as well. So I'll show you what they both look like with a medium speed. Um, I'm going to guess that running English is going to be in there. We'll see how close I get. Again, always, always, always get your angle right first. Walk straight into the ball and shoot straight. Close enough, right? But you saw how it just kind of picked up speed after it got to the rail. Now, if you're here and you're using inside or reverse English, it's going to cut into this area. Okay, so knowing that, you can really start to manipulate and do some cool stuff with, with English. Like on this shot, if you use top right, which since I'm cutting to the right would be high inside or reverse, I guess. But I would call it high inside. And what happens is it gets this first rail and it's wanting to spin this way. So what it actually does is it slows it down and then it'll drift and do something. But this is what this is what you can do from here. Do you see that? Slow down, drifted, and then the spin still took it back this way. So you can do that. Um, you can easily get from one end of the table to the other. Even on a shot like this that's mostly straight in, if you use running English or top left, since we're going to the left, if I use running English, I can actually get to this end of the table with the right follow through. See that? So that's a really nice thing as well. Um, what else can I do? Um, you can do interesting shots like this. If you have this shot, you're trying to get to the other end of the table. Um, you can use high action, cutting to the left, but in this case, running English is going to be left-hand English because it's going to get to the rail and then go like this. See how cool that is? So that's nice. Um, and reverse English is really useful when you're trying to keep the cue ball in a certain area. So like if you've got something like this, or something like this going on, you can actually go, okay, well this pocket line goes like this, right? So if I can get the cue ball to right there, I can be straight in. Well, I can actually use reverse English to get to the rail. And remember, since the spin wants to pull it this way, It'll just kill and just drift. So this is what, that's what this looks like. See that? See how it put the brakes on it right this away? This is another cool shot that you may not have seen before. So let's say this is your last ball, which it never would be in normal games, but let's pretend it's the eight ball. Um, could I get an eight ball out of a pocket? Yeah, but I'm lazy. Okay, so this is a really cool shot. Now, sometimes running English is the same direction as where you're cutting. So in this case, 
I'm cutting to the right. If I use top right, the cue ball will go this way. If I use left or outside English, it'll kind of just stay in this area. So here's what this looks like with running English. Um, I actually need a little bit more of an angle, otherwise I would scratch. So I should get near that four ball, I would imagine. Isn't that a cool shot? I think it is. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Here she comes. Anyway, I hope that explains running versus reverse or inside English. Um, if you have any questions or comments, if you want to try any of this out, let me know how it goes. Even post a video or shoot me a link with something you've been working on. I'd love to check it out. But I hope this helps you. Um, I know it helps me to understand when to use which English. It obviously changes the angle off of the rail and you can one last thing here is you can actually cheat the pocket. If you're not familiar with what that is, it just means, you know, you're either going to make the ball in the center of the pocket to this side or to this side. So if you're not making it dead center, it's called cheating. I'm going to cheat it to this side. I'm going to cheat it to this side. And by doing that, you're altering the cue ball path. Okay. So if you're doing that, you can say, I'm going to cheat the pocket to this side. So the cue ball comes up sharper with reverse English and comes up to this area, like this. But if you shoot the same shot and don't cheat the pocket, if you shoot it straight in the pocket, it looks like this. And if you cheat it to the other side of the pocket, opposite of the first start, so now you're cheating over here, it looks like this. See how much different you can make the cue ball roll? Well, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Just cool school.